The city of Chula Vista is looking to make a change that could have a major impact on the rental housing market. Our Jason Sloss is live in Chula Vista with a look at what this is all about. Jason. Yeah, and it's a huge rental housing market here in Chula Vista. We're told about 42% of the market is rentals. Now, the city is looking at an ordinance to give renters more protections. Uh, here's more about that ordinance and why some say it's a bad idea that it's completely unnecessary and could actually squeeze more renters out of the market. Average rent last year in Chula Vista raised 16%. Chula Vista Mayor Mary Casillas Salas says many families in her city are getting priced out of the rental housing market, with most spending more than half their income on rent. And now she's fighting for the city to take on a new tenant protection ordinance to help fight against no fault evictions. The demand for housing is such that landlords have been really tempted to, you know, get rid of the old citizens, the old residents that the long-term residents that have been in that housing and then replace them with new tenants that they could raise the rents on. The mayor says most landlords are doing the right thing and that this ordinance is not drastic in any way. This does nothing to uh, hamper or to obstruct a landlord in being able to get rid of a bad tenant, one that hasn't paid their rent, or is a nuisance or a problem to other neighbors, or is destructive of the prop property. That has nothing to do with that. It just merely is a better form of giving them more notice, um, giving them a little bit more for move out expenses. The city took a situation where there's no data, there's no information saying there's a problem, and they created an ordinance that really doesn't, it's, it's, it's a solution finding a problem. Richard Descoli with the Pacific Southwest Association of Realtors argues the ordinance will make it more difficult for landlords to evict a problem tenant. So if you have a tenant who you know, is doing drugs, has got, you know, problems and or is abusing other tenants, you have to go through a lot of a lot of problem and bureaucracy in order to remove the tenant. He says under the ordinance, owners will be less motivated to rent and there will be fewer rental properties available. The disincentive to build, you know, creates fewer properties and drives prices up. So this will make prices higher rather than lower. Mayor Salas says the ordinance only applies to rental properties with three or more units. California already has a tenant protection law that took effect in 2020. Chula Vista's ordinance would replace it. Descoli is hoping city leaders will take a pause before moving forward. We need to deal with the problems and help the tenants who are in those situations not create a blanket ordinance. Now, there's a city council meeting here tomorrow at 5. It's expected that could get a little heated. The city council could pass the ordinance as is or put a temporary moratorium on no-fault evictions to uh, take a little more time to uh, consider the issue. Live in Chula Vista, Jason Sloss, Fox 5 News. Jason, thank you. And the